Hey Piscatorians, welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful Saturday afternoon here in the Puget Sound. We're launching out of Area 11 Point Defiance. And we're gonna burn some fuel today, heading north up into Seattle. We're gonna go for some resident cohos. It's our first resident coho trip of the year. I'm gonna uh, use my coho flies. Link to the description above on how to make them. Yes, yeah, so I made that video about a year and a half ago. Uh, they seem to be pretty effective, so if you guys tie flies or you want to try giving it a shot, you can check out that video, and I'll show you how to do it. With that said, we're going to blast off in the new boat. Super excited. It's my, my wife's first time in the boat, so uh, yeah, we're going to get after it. guys so we just got out to uh, Jeff's head um, basically uh, we're gonna troll the uh, we'll probably troll like I think we're gonna go for about 60 feet on one and then uh, go a little bit deeper on the other one about 80 um, we're doing a uh, 8 inch uh, mini dodger and then uh, coho fly that always wax them and then uh, on the other rod, I'll show you real quick. We're gonna go with a uh, 11 inch flasher, and then uh, we're gonna go with kind of a, a black and red, white uh, fly. So we'll see how that does. We're gonna be trolling about uh, three and a half to four miles an hour. All right, Carly is up. Guys, we just let him go. Oh, we missed one, guys. And we got one on the Gucci right now. Yeah, Guys, first resident coho in the boat. <laughs> Bleeding all over the place. <laughs> all right, guys, so that first one was a nice resident uh, coho. Um, we just missed another one uh, when we were getting that rod set up. It popped behind us and we didn't see it uh, until it was too late. We got off with the slack. But uh, we are. Uh, Headed back over towards the spot. Um, we were using a, uh, a green uh, prism uh, mini uh, dodger on that one, or flash or whatever you like to call it, uh, with a uh, white uh, Uchi about 20 inches uh, behind the dodger. And uh, going about three and a half miles an hour. So we're going to replicate, see if we can't get some more. Alright. 
but he's just pooping krill. It's crazy. Anyway, we're gonna put him in the box. This one's a hatchery. You can hatch your wild in area 10. All right, oh, he's got one. Fish just crap krill all over my leg. <laughs> it's okay. I'll let it crap all over my leg. <laughs> Man, so we somehow got our downer ball wrapped in our prop. And while I was getting it back up, we hooked the fish in the drift. Can't make this stuff up. Keep going. And that is our coho limit just like that well guys we had a fun day out here at jeff's head got our limit of uh resident cohos um well we got the prop uh just tangled up so i guess we'll fix that at the launch ramp um and yeah we'll probably be getting a prop guard for that kicker uh because he's uh booms are a little short and anyway when we were landing the fish we you know somehow wrapped it so lesson learned it's kind of funny but uh thank you guys for watching if you like today's video smash the like button also if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe and uh, we'll catch you on the next one tight lines